Hi there, welcome back. And um, today I actually want to do a quick flip through of my journal. Well, I won't be able to do a journal with me, which I have been aching to do a journal with me number two. I already have number one, but I stopped there. <laughs> and you know, I've been very, very, very busy with my work. And as and you know, October, November is the busiest time for me. A few, uh, my friends came from out of town to visit me during some of the weekends so I basically have been very very busy and they managed to actually do a journal with me so I thought I'd do a flip through of my journal instead for this round and I'm sorry that the lighting is not good because it's now like 7, 7.30 here and it's actually dark outside so it's not natural lighting but I still hope that I can, you know, do a quick flip through for you all. So this is my detail bunker, um, black cherry bison, and I love it. So again, you know, I'm sorry that the lighting is not good. This, it, it, it looks like very dark red or even, you know, brown or even black, but it's not. It's actually quite reddish in color. So, um, I'll definitely do another video on my journal itself I mean my travel notebook itself but today since it's just a flip through of my journal so I'll just you know go on with it so here this is a very simple setup of my uh, detail bunker because this is something like my minimalist is a uh, classic Midori single strand elastic which I love and yeah and there's no pocket whatsoever so it's like very very minimal it's very compact um, notebook for me this is my bullet journal and my journal in one traveler's notebook so yeah and i have this i finally starting to use my <laughs> happy scrappy <laughs> or subscription yeah item so oopsie hello focus yeah so this is the uh, vellum that came with the subscription and this is my first ever foxy fix um dashboard and this is actually from happy scrappy as well happy scrappy and the back of the dashboard and this is just some tracing info i have this is my regular dashboard that i use the daiso um b5 a soft folder yep and just you know it actually works pretty well I just fold it in half so it's a top loading thing but anywho yeah this is from Trevor's company passport size craft folder I just have some deco I put in I'm still not very good at decorating my TN but yeah hopefully I will improve after this so this is from Happy Scrappy again this is my bullet journal. Yeah, you can see it's very, very uh, serious type of yeah thing. I have my tracker, yeah, my dailies and things like that. Very serious because my bullet journal is for my work and it's very important. I need it every day. Yep, else you know, I'll I'll be lost. I really am. So today I really am going just uh, going to just do my journal flip through for my October. Yeah, for my October journal, sorry. And you can see how behind I am. So this is a freebie calendar from Stickerific. If you bought something from them like in within that month, they'll give you a sort of like a very cute little calendar for that month itself. And yeah, I I don't you know I really hate to admit it, but I do collect them and I miss I think the September Oh, yeah, I miss the September one. No, it's okay. Just that, you know, yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> no problem. So in October, I thought I'd do a quick flip through because I didn't write anything in my October journal at all. Nada. But I did keep track of the events that happened in my bullet journal. So yeah, when I have the time to update, I'll just refer to my bullet journal, what has, what happened on the day itself, and I can, yep, put it in my journal. So like I said, I've been very, very busy, and I, well, I really do not have the time to sit down and journal. But 
Well, you might ask why I have the time to decorate it because this one was done in like, um, I don't know, five or six days in one go. Yeah, when I have a little bit of spare time. And after I've done that, I do not have the time to write anymore. <laughs> so anywho, let's go through. This is Marcia Bramucci's Stay on Two Pages, which I love. It gives me enough space to write something and then enough space to deco. But for October itself, I think my decorations, uh, will, my decorations will actually occupy the, a big portion of my journal because I do not want to write too long as it's already been, you know, over or been passed for so long. So I will just write some, you know, some something to jot down what happened on that day. So yeah, it's just a very, very quick flip through. As you can see, I have a lot of this. LDV <laughs> girl. Yep, and I love classic washies. I love vintage paper, and I love this classic napkin. I don't know whether you guys notice, I actually have a lot of them. Yep, I actually bought, I think, all of their design, the napkin. I like to use. I like to use it as, as a background because it's see-through and it's quite thin. So yeah, it works very, very well as a background. But one of the disadvantages is it's easily torn. So when I've, I'm sticking uh, you know, a lot of things and I have glue residue on my hand, it's actually very difficult to put glue or yeah, on this um, napkin without me you know, tearing the napkin apart. Yep. But I still love to use them. I think they're great as a deco, as part of the deco. Yep. You can see I will try to put a lot of decoration, especially journal cards or you know, big, big decoration to take up the space so that I do not have that much space to write in. Uh, okay. So this one you can actually say that it's, it's completed. I think this is the only day that I complete my journal. So I just put a code here because, yeah, I... Sometimes I'll just put the code in to take out the space without writing anything. And I love this one. It's very clean, very autumn-y. Autumn-y is that a word called autumn-y? Very autumn feel. And yeah, I love this. And yeah, this pen. I love to use craft paper. I actually quite like Tim Holtz uh, washi, but I do not like the quality at all, to be, to be honest, really. I think compared to classic key they are actually oh I don't know about you maybe I got a bad lot or something but they do not stick very well so yeah it's it's actually a very a nuisance to me so you can see that I use a lot because I try to finish it up so that I yeah I can move on because every time I see it, I was like oh I got so angry because they like peeling up not on my journal but when I use put it in my bag or something it will stick on to a lot of my stationery and it came off and oh I tell you it's very irritable for me I, I, I do not know about others but yeah so I want to finish up quickly so here another journal card and I do some stamping as and when I can this one is actually from uh, the package from a purchase that I got from Craftionaries. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I love the product. I love their stamps. This is the stamp that I got. It's gorgeous. This is a package that came with and I just tear it up and stick it right on. Yeah. Don't forget to be awesome. I love this. And I just posted it on my Instagram. It's gorgeous. This is also another package uh, that I got from another purchase. Something of mine, of course. Another purchase of mine. Cross made, yep. Yep, yep, yep. And I love vintage tic sticker. Ah, uh, sorry. Vintage tickets. <laughs> oh man, I can't talk right. Yep. There we go. Another, yep. Craftionaries. This is the one. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Sometimes I have a lot of inspiration and I can. You know, the decoration come out the way I wanted it, but sometimes I just don't have it. And it may come out something like this, very blonde, very, you know, it's like something is missing there. So sometimes I just leave it like this until, you know, 
uh, after a few days or maybe weeks or even after months when I turn it back and say, oh, I have another inspiration to put something on, then I'll put it on and become better. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a very tricky thing. <laughs> I love this though. This is another stamp set I got from the Craftionaries. This is from my paper projects. Yep, you see a lot of LVV girls. They're my favorite girls. Yep. Again, this one it feels quite um, not um, how to say. Does not blend in well the stamps. I don't know, but you know, you can't always have a perfect spread every time, right? Yeah. I love this though. Yep. So it's just a matter of, you know, a day, a day, but then you see my inspiration has changed drastically. And I love the outcome of this spread. Hold on, let me take this away. And this one, mm, so so. <laughs> but I, I do not hate it though. Yeah, I love this. And I love to use um, journal cards or or Lomo cards as my deco. Lomo cards because they are pretty and then they can take up space as well. Yep, I love this one. This is my favorite in October. Yep. I most of the time I love vintage theme, but some of the time I do do something like this, you know, more like not to say modern but more um sophisticated I would say. But yeah, depends on my feeling. This bread, I am not too sure. I like it or I hate it. I actually love this Lomo card a lot. So since it's like a, um, not to say autumn greenery theme, trees, nature. So I try to use this washi, you know, the one that you can peel out and it becomes, it's, it's in the form of flowers and leaves. Well, it turns out okay, I guess, but I don't really like love it. I don't know. Anywho. I do move on quick because I really need to complete my spread quickly. Oh, I love I love this. I use the um uh, distress. Oh, uh, what's that distress? Uh, oh my gosh, the word doesn't come to my mind. It's distress. Uh, stamp distress ink. Yeah, distress is a, a bit and. I love how it turns out, gorgeous, and I love vintage tickets and stamps, of course, and the stamp <laughs> itself. This one, yeah, this is the one that I do not like that much as well. I don't know. Doesn't look right, right? Yeah. Last day of October. That's it. Wow, that's for October. As you can see, I didn't then write anything at all. So I'm going to write it in when I have, th I have the time. And yeah. I normally, yeah, this happened to me quite often when my work sort of, has, you know, gone crazy and I really do not have time. I may, mainly have the time to eat, sleep, and take care of my son. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the flip through and I really hope I can do another journal with me soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Any comments, any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below and i hope to see you guys again soon bye take care